The little tip I'm going to show you here isn't something new. Basically, it's a refilm of a very old video that we did years ago. And it's a technique we call bump cutting. And uh, crazy as it may sound, we'll show it to you just in a minute. But it cures a common problem. And that problem is chip out, tear out. And you know, so many woods, you know, particularly uh, coarse grain woods like ash, oak, so forth, man, they can splinter and chip out in a skinny minute. Well, bump cutting really helps to eliminate that. It's got a lot of benefits. Let's take a look. Now, one of the number one ways of getting a nice, clean, routed edge or anything is light passes. Sneak up on it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But even then, there's problematic woods that can really give you an issue. Here's the issue. You know, when you're using a router, and again, if you're doing handheld, you're always going left to right. If you're in a table, you're going right to left. And the reason for that is, is this bit is spinning. You want the bit feeding against the wood. You don't want this bit tracking with the wood. If it does that, then this bit becomes like the cleats on a bulldozer. And what it does is it grabs the wood and it can suddenly jerk the router toward you. The term is climb cutting. It can be a very dangerous technique. But because of that rotation and because what it's doing is it's cutting into the fiber of the wood, it creates a cleaner, smoother cut. And it doesn't want to chip out. Now in this demonstration, I've got the bit set fairly deep. Just to demo and to show you. I've also got some dye on the edge of this piece of tiger maple just so you can easily see what we're doing. And bump cutting is exactly what it implies. What bump cutting does is in order for that bit, number one, in order for this thing to chip out, there's got to be something there to chip. And the second thing is if you're climb cutting it, in order for it to pull back on you, it's got to have material to get a hold to it. Bump cutting cures that. By simply going down the board, plunging straight in, you start removing the majority of the material without forcing the, the bit against the grain where it can grab it and pull it out. Subsequently, what happens is when you come back and do your final route, it really doesn't have anything to grab a hold to. So you get a clean cut. Works pretty good. But there's one other little advantage. You just saw it. If you put a mark on your router and you, you index where you can line it up, you can create some pretty cool moldings. All right, this bit I was showing you is a rabbiting bit. You know, you can cut a groove with it, you know, a rabbit. You can actually take one and cut a mortise with it. But if you've ever used one of these varmints, you know this thing is just notorious for just chipping, 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 okay? Bump cutting makes an entirely different world if you bump cut before you use the rabbiting bit. Again, I'm going to say it again, if any bit I've ever used that's prone to chipping out, it's one of these. I've been known to leave my board wide, cut the rabbit, then trim the edge off and then cut it again just to remove the majority of the material just to make sure I didn't get any chip out or splinter. Try bump cutting.
Thank you, Lucky.